So just when I thought I bought one of the most coolest um, face masks called LMPS2 which is produced in Holland um, we have another product called the Leaf which is the world's first UV powered transparent masks so it's actually a see-through just like a self-explanatory and self UVC sterilizing so I presume it actually cleans by the um, UVC and it's a HEPA mask so those who don't know what HEPA is I'm still studying about it but it's a pretty good uh, filter it stands for um, high efficiency particulate air and it, it filters out such uh, particles like pollen pet dander dust mites and tobacco smoke which is really good I always like to have a mask that filters out a tobacco smoke when you pass by someone smoking um, but it doesn't really specify whether it will prevent the COVID-19 um, germ now um, I think it would be very bold for any company to say that this such mask will filter out the COVID-19 and etc but anyway again just going back to it is a transparent mask it's one of those things that I think a lot of shall I say Westerners are looking for because um, I think if you somehow disguise some of your face, it kind of turns off. It actually scares someone. It, you, somehow we are living in this culture where it's not welcome in some way. Whereas where, where I came from originally, it's quite a common thing to do. But anyway, it's a good news. So you can see someone smiling um, and it looks cool as well. It looks like Star Wars or Star Trek kind of futuristic kind of um, te technology we have here. Now the mask itself is rewashable this time um, it lasts up to a month and um, I think it's about $12 for the filter itself which is you know reasonable if you think about it um, but the question is how often do you have to order and how how quickly can you get it but it comes with different colors as well really nice and it's um, the company actually is based in Detroit United States I almost bought it people but I realized I already bought the Oz Air um, well funded and it's on its way and also funded the LMP S2 which is Mm, again manufactured in Holland We're, I'm due to receive both very soon hopefully both of them by end of this month and I just thought why not also um, compare uh, this leaf transparent mask with the other mask and let you guys know I mean I'm not trying to drive this uh, channel only focusing on mask but I guess we're living in a time where this this has become one of the most important possibly technology or device or uh, an accessory that you need and um, just so you know what I'm keen on is to get the leaf HEPA pack this is not the pro pack so you can get it for 49 US dollars which is about 38 um, British pounds but one thing that really put me off in the final bit was it, it's about $12 additional for package uh, fee as well so suddenly we're talking about 50 British pounds or um, almost like 61 US dollars for a mask so it sort of make you feel like is it really worth spending that much money etc but then again it could help save your life um, for, for getting any of these um, germs and etc and disease but we also have the leaf pro which seems to have a um, like a smart device like connects to your phone I actually read the description but it, it's quite expensive it's about um, 199 US dollars but I just can't see any smart device indicated on the mask itself on the preview but one thing that I'm not quite sure about is um, all these photos that we're seeing people wearing masks seem to be most of them photoshopped and I would like to see the actual product a prototype wall by someone that will look more convincing so that's something I'm not really 100% sure about um, maybe there's a video available on YouTube or not but um, again imagine yourself wearing these masks i think it would look quite cool uh, but that's not, not the whole point it's about your health and hepa uh, mask itself so sounds very secure very convincing i'm sure they they're you know they're f living up with the reputation of hepa with all the filters and etc but um i would like to like to know your guys feel about this one do you think i should order one from um indiegogo and Sort of compare with the Oz Air and also LMPS2 mask that I bought. 
um, later on. The Well, I guess I'm not going to be the expert on the level of how clean the air filters are, but I guess the main thing that, main thing that I'm going to focus on is about the comfort level. How heavy can you breathe? Is it easy to breathe? How, how does it feel for wearing it for certain times in my experience and etc. That's something I'll probably be focusing on. I think the rest of the technical side, we've got to trust the company on the of the level of secureness and, and so on. And um, I guess so, some part of my experience, but let me know your th thoughts on this matter. Um, quite tempted. But it comes with, again, Leaf HEPA, Leaf UV, um, and then Leaf Pro. And you could buy a family package. Um, but once you go, go beyond the uh, Leaf HEPA, which is Leaf UV and Leaf Pro, it's started to cost a lot. So, um, well, money doesn't really matter when it comes to health, I guess. So I'm sure a lot of people will be willing to buy this. And it has already met 500% of the target goal. So they're doing very well. So congratulations to Leaf. And I hope uh, you sell more by um, some people actually watching my video and get more um, word of mouth spread and, and etc. Anyway, so thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, please comment and share your thoughts and I'll come back to you as much as I can. All the best. This is LJP Tech. Bye-bye.